Hi everyone, so managed to get to the end of San Francisco and it is time to face the Dark Baymax boss fight. So here it is in full. I'm going to talk you through all of the things that I do to manage to beat the Dark Baymax. So hopefully it's going to help you out. If it does, drop us a like below. But here we go, jumping into the action. And it starts off with this kind of like flying section. And you can see the instructions in the bottom left hand corner in terms of what buttons to press. So it's R2 for shooting and that's pretty much what I use for the majority of this battle. I'm just shooting the heck out of Dark Baymax and using the analog stick to just kind of like move out of the way of everything that comes my way. So it fires the dark cubes at you as you're going. You don't need to control kind of like turning too much. You just need to move out of the way of objects because the actual motion following it, you'll essentially track the Dark Baymax all the way around the city. All you need to do is dodge everything that it fires at you. And when you get a chance, it's not like this is one of the perfect opportunities to get in your hits. Try to uh, strafe in the direction that it's going. Try to fly in the direction that it's going. So get as close to him or where it's heading as possible so that when you do press R2 or when you do shoot, you get in some decent hits. So really wailing it down now and taking very little damage. However, if you do take some big damage, you can, uh, you can give yourself a little cure. Uh, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, there is a care spray and that will give you a bit of an extra boost so that you've, uh, you've got a bit more health to, uh, to take on the fight. You don't massively need it during this phase, but later on when it goes into the second phase, when you've got kind of like free roam capabilities within this force field area that you'll see in a little bit, at that stage you're definitely going to need that care spray. So you can see here just kind of like trying to track its movements so that when I do shoot, it's hitting it most of the time and it's kind of working really well. I've managed to take down two of its bars already and you can also do like a strike move to fire things back at it but mostly I'm just focusing on the shoot button to get through this just because it's a relatively easy section there's not really too much to, uh, to worry about you just kind of need to keep moving keep shooting and eventually it will go through to the next phase. So when it goes up, this is a great opportunity to get in your hits. And it's just about to go into the second phase of the fight any minute now. Here we go. So it like powers up its fist, puts this force field around you, and you've essentially just got to like fight it out. So it's like robot versus robot kind of thing and you're just flying through the air. So it fires these kind of like drill things at you and comes in with some punches. So you've got to stay mobile and it's here where the aerial dodge comes in handy. So make sure you use that as much as you can and just keep trying to move your analog sticks and the camera angle to be able to get in your shots as much as possible. Stick and move, stick and move. You just gotta like hit it and move. Hit it, move, change the camera angle and you should be able to get in enough hits to whittle it down slowly but surely over time. Now it does come in and do some attacks like this and you can do similar hits on it with, uh, with the strike button on the PS4, that's the X. So you kind of like got to time your movements for that pretty wisely. You don't want to go in when it's attacking. So it's attacking there, dodged out of the way but it still managed to follow me. So you're gonna get hit if you get in too close to it. So it's kind of a good idea if you're struggling against this to give yourself as much distance as possible. Keep mashing the shoot button and you'll slowly but surely take it down <laughs> eventually, uh, which is pretty much what I'm doing here. So I'm kind of nearly the halfway point in terms of its health bars. And you can see here using the strike button to get in a few hits. So this is doing a much bigger damage than, uh, than the normal shoot button. And then obviously I've got this special to use which, uh, which massively takes down its health bar. So huge, huge opportunity to make a big dent on its health. So again, you're back to like this phase and you can control where you're flying with the camera angle. So if you want to go down, Kind of like tilt down and then uh, and then press forward and you'll go down a little bit but this is perfect opportunity you know it's got the cubes though which takes the uh takes the target away from the dark baymax 
So you kind of like just got to keep moving until you get back to being able to target it. So in this situation, just putting in a lot of hits on it and it's down to four bars now. So it's got me with the hits, but I'm using it as a great opportunity to get in my own hits there. So using the strike button. So kind of, if it, uh, if it like does get you with the punches and you can't dodge out of the way, then you can retaliate with your own strikes and you should be able to get in a few combos. So in that situation, I tried to dodge out of the way, but it doesn't always work perfectly. The strikes definitely take away more of its health, but it does put you in a slightly more precarious situation. But I kind of figure my health's okay and I've got all of the kind of like the care sprays to use. So I can use that to stay in the game go toe to toe with it a little bit and uh, and yeah just keep on shooting it down so I probably could have gotten away with that a little bit better it's it's managed to catch me in that downward thing you need to dodge out of the way of that as soon as you see it so we've got an opportunity to do the special again so this you'll see does a huge amount of damage so when you get these they're epic epic way to bring down its health bar so definitely use that and then go back to uh, go back to shooting. So you can see this red thing, you've got to get out of the way of that because that really will do a lot of damage. And that's probably the main thing in this fight that could possibly, possibly like take you out. Other than that, you should be able to stay in it relatively easily. But if you do get caught in it, like I did earlier, and you get caught in it one or two times in quick succession, then it could theoretically take you down. So that's the main thing to avoid in this fight. So you can see there you can dodge three things pretty nicely and then get in your hits. You just got to keep on moving out of the way of things. And then once you've got like the target back on it <laughs> and it's not attacking you, you manage to get out of the way of it, you, uh, you should be able to get in some damage. So you can see here I managed to get a little bit too close to it and got into a bit of trouble and the, uh, the red kind of strike from above Managed to get me a bit, he's got me again. So as soon as you get stuck in that, you've, de you've just got to dodge out of it as quickly as you can. And uh, the aerial dodge will definitely help you out. So definitely use that. Spin on around and then get back to shooting at it. If you can get in a strike, then it can do some big damage. But if not, then you've just got to dodge and get yourself back into a good position to be able to get it some more. So spinning on around. Trying to face it, looking back with the camera angle, getting in some good hits, managed to dodge that attack really, really nicely. But you can see if you kind of, if you keep flying in one direction, you'll eventually come against the barrier. So you've just got to turn away from it. Oh, did I get in any hits? I think maybe I got in a few there. So it's down to its last couple of bars now. And I'm just trying to dodge lower give myself a better chance of avoiding its hits. Need to figure out where it's gone. It's up here. Avoid the, uh, avoid the red drop move. Trying to punch up to it. Managed to get it quite nicely, but got stuck in the, uh, it looks like the matrix. It's like you're getting stuck in the matrix. I'm gonna call it the matrix from now on. Probably gonna, <laughs> gonna miss it every time now. So managed to avoid the matrix move, the red matrix. Okay. And this phase, I definitely, definitely need one of the, the care sprays. So that's kept me in it. And there we go. Job done. Doc Baymax, you're out of there. So that's it, guys. That is, uh, that is my run through of Doc Baymax here in San Francisco. Hopefully it helps you out. If it does, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notified whenever we put a video out. You can check out the rest of our series for Kingdom Hearts 3 with the links on the right hand side including all of our full walkthroughs for all of the worlds. Leave any comments you've got below, let us know how you're getting on in the game and I will catch you next time.